To beat Forsaken Giant you need to know only a few things. Once you understand them, it will not be able to damage you. The main thing you need to know is that the platform in the location consists of three sites, and they can only be destroyed by this particular boss attack. But this will not happen if you follow my instructions. The thing is that each platform can only withstand two hits from the boss, and falls apart after the third. That's why when the boss initiates this attack, you should evenly distribute its attacks among the sites, one hit for each site. This will not be difficult, because the boss always hits the site you are standing on. This way the platform will withstand at least two such attacks from the boss, and you will have enough time to kill it. To damage the boss, you must shoot at the glowing weak spots that appear on its shoulders, palms, face or stomach, depending on the current attack type. However there is a limit to the damage you can deal to the boss in one attack, about 40 to 50,000. The game will not let you defeat it too quickly, so it is important to learn how to avoid its attacks. The boss's most dangerous attack is a hit with a fist, but you can easily avoid it. The boss always hits the same places, depending on the site where your character is standing. Knowing these places, you only need to move away from the hit zone to avoid the first shockwave, and then jump over the second. It is most convenient to take this hit on the central site, since the boss always hits its left part. When the boss initiates a circular attack with its hand, you can avoid receiving damage in the places you see on the screen, it will not reach you here. Note that the order of the boss's attacks is always the same, first a hit with a fist, then a circular attack. After that the boss starts to cry and puke, scattering flower buds around the location. You can throw them at the boss's face or stomach. This will stun it for a short time and interrupt its attack. The boss will lower its arms, and you will be able to shoot at its weak spot without any obstacles. This will also give you time to deal with the mobs. In the later stages of the fight, the boss will shoot you with clots of goo, that follow the player and deal a lot of damage. They can be easily dodged by running in an arc towards the boss. The boss can also try to grab you. To dodge this attack, run closer to it. At the end, the boss will start spawning pillars of fire under your feet. Just keep moving to avoid them. Also during the fight, strong mobs will appear in the location. Use Lone Wolf's Shadow. This deviant will provoke mobs to attack it, so you will have enough time to shoot them relatively calmly. As for the build, because of the damage cap you can use any weapon. I still use a revolver. My build involves a slow rate of fire, but powerful critical hits. I also use the rejuvenating mod, to restore health by killing mobs. At the end of the video I will attach a full boss walkthrough without using activators, but you of course can and should use them. I also recommend using the living armor elixir for insurance. Also remember that in the Forsaken Monolith you have 3 free adrenaline shots, and the boss will not attack you until you shoot it first. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you learned something useful. Thank you for watching and, bye.